Hello, my dear students, and welcome once again to Zenith Academy Online. Today, we are doing Chapter One: Introduction to Economics for ICSC Economics Class Nine. And in th this is the part three of this chapter, and in this part, we'll be talking about economic and non-economic activities. So let's start. So first of all, we should know that all the human activities are divided into two. Economic activities and non-economic activities. From the picture itself, it must be very clear to you that what is economic activities? That is something that is related to money. And non-economic activities are those activities which has which has no money aspect. So let's talk about these two activities in detail. First of all, let's talk about economic activities. So my students, all those activities. Just a second. So all those activities which are concerned with money and wealth are called economic activities. So what is the main purpose of this economic activities to satisfy human wants? These two points you should remember in economic activities. The first point is all the activities which are concerned with money or wealth. And the, what is the main purpose of economic activities to satisfy the human wants? So... A business, running a business is an economic activity, a profession is an economic activity, employment or any service is an economic, uh, economic activity. So let's see the examples of economic activities. When a person goes to office or to a factory or to a shop to earn money. So basically from wherever you can earn money. These all are covered under economic activities. Right. So these are the different professions. So whenever you go to any place, maybe an office, factory or a shop or a hospital, for example, if you go to a hospital, you go to a restaurant, you go to bus stop or you go to a construction site or a fireplace, okay, a police station, wherever you go and you earn money. Okay, that is an example. Another example of economic activities is when a person goes to market to purchase something. So maybe like vegetables or when you go to a mall to purchase clothes or when you go to shop to purchase your shoes or etc. Okay, all these activities also are known as economic activities. Now, economic activities in any society takes place within the four framework of certain rules, conventions, laws, customs, etc. Since this is involving money, my dear students, so there has to be certain uh, rules, certain conventions, certain regulations, customs, laws, which should govern all these activities. Otherwise, there will be a chaos. Now, what are the elements of economic activities? Very, very important from examination point of view. There are three elements of economic activities. First, use of scarce goods and means. So those goods that are less in quantity, the use of those scarce goods. I will be talking about all three elements in detail. Remember three elements, use of scarce goods and means. Second, it is related to money or wealth. And third, there has to be satisfaction of bonds. Okay, so let's talk about all the three elements in detail. First is use of scarce goods and means. So, it is an activity, it is an activity which is concerned with the use of goods and means. We are using goods and means in economic activity. Which goods and means? That are scarce as compared to the demand. The demand is more, more but the supply is less. Okay, the goods and means, the, these goods and means are scarce. Scarce means in limited quantity. They are in limited or very less quantity. Okay, limited or very less quantity. Second is related to money or wealth. We all know economic activities has to be related to money or wealth. So economic activities refer to those human activities which are concerned with money or wealth. And the third element of economic activities is Purpose. What is the main purpose of economic activity? Satisfaction of human wants. The human should be satisfied with the goods and services that he is consuming. Okay. 
Now let's talk about the different types of economic activities. So there are basically categorized into four categories. Production, consumption, distribution and exchange. These are the four economic activities broadly classified. So let's talk about production. So this is the first this is the first type of economic activity production okay so it deals with those economic activities which are concerned with addition to the utility and value of goods and services okay so goods or services mein jab hum value add karte hain usme utility add karte hain jab koi jaise ki we have for example we have flour okay we aata hai hamare paas to usse agar hum biscuit banate hain so we have added utility and value to that good and goods, right? For example, the process of making biscuits with the help of sugar, flour and labor, etc. falls under production. When you add utility or value to goods and services, it comes under production. Next is consumption. It includes the economic activities which are related to use of goods and services for the satisfaction of want directly so when we directly go to the market and purchase things okay we are using those goods and services for example we took a cab from the mall and came back home relaxed right? so we have used that service and we are satisfied we have purchased something we are hungry we have purchased something to eat and our want is satisfied so when these are those economic activities which are related with the use of goods and services for the satisfaction of want directly. For example, eating food to satisfy the want of hunger. Now, the next one is distribution. It is related with the determination of price of factors of production. Okay, what are the factors of production? Land, labor, capital and entrepreneurship. Right? So, determining the prices, price of these factors of production comes under distribution. Now, exchange. So, it consists of the economic utility which is concerned with the sale and purchase of goods and services. Okay, goods and services. Okay, so whenever you are going to the market, you, for example, you are buying oranges and you are giving money in return. Right? So, buying and selling comes under this. Okay, buy and sell comes under this. Right, sale and purchase of goods and services. Now, economic activities are done. Now, let's talk about non-economic activities. I hope till now economic activities is clear. If you have any doubt, you can go back to the video and watch economic activities once again. Now, non-economic activities. So, those activities which have no economic aspect. se koi lena dena nahi hai. Or are not concerned with money or wealth. Those type of activities are known as non-economic activities. So these are the basic six non-economic activities. I'll just move out so that you can read. So there are social activities, political activities, religious activities, charitable activities, parental activities and recreational activities. Now let's talk about all of them in detail. Let's talk about them in detail now. First is social activity. Okay. So, for example, attending marriage or birthday parties of relatives or friends or maybe even organizing a cultural program, etc. So, we all know human being is a social animal, right? So, all the activities that it does to remain in their social circle, okay to satisfy their want of being a social animal okay are called social activities so social activities are examples attending marriages birthday parties of relatives or friends organizing cultural programs etc now political activities so there are different activities that are performed by various political parties such as congress bjp etc etc right so for example there are rallies Voting happens, okay, different activities, political activities. Next is, so here also there is no money concerned. Here also there is, see we spend, we spend in buying cakes and all that is a other thing. But we perform these activities not to earn profit, right? So, 
we do this not to earn profit the religious activities also such as worship donations for temples etc so the religious activities also comes under non economic activities then comes the charitable activities such as helping the poor or the disabled persons uh, funding uh, getting donations to help uh, maybe in some orphanage or in some old home or simply helping the poor people on street these all are charitable activities so all these four activity or uh, sorry now there are parental activities so what are parental activities activities performed by parents by parents towards their children such as love affection etc so do, they do not charge for it right so there is no money involved when your parents give you love or takes care of you it, there is no money involved here now recreational activities such as playing games dancing watching tv etc okay so all the recreational activities that gives you that relaxes you gives you pleasure are all recreational activities that energizes you are all recreational activities here also there is no money or wealth involved so these are also non economic activities so remember when these non economic activities that i have just mentioned when they involve any money aspect then they become economic activities for example now when non economic activities can be called as economic activities whenever there is some money aspect that comes in for example you see here now when this person is playing cricket for his own recreation in his own mohalla he is playing cricket in his own streets he is playing cricket with his friends so for his own recreation if he is playing or for all his own pleasure it will be what it will be non economic activity but when he plays cricket to earn money in a match if he is he play if he is playing in a match okay if he is a professional cricket cricket player then it involves money so now it becomes an economic activity i hope this is clear similarly when a teacher teaches his own son at home son or daughter at home okay so if she is teaching her at home it will be a non economic activity because it will be a parental economic activity right but when he or she teaches in a school and gets the salary for this job then this becomes an economic activity the pictures itself are making itself explanatory so thus the motive of earning wealth or income is the basic criteria for deciding whether a human activity is economic or non economic so let's now differentiate between economic activities and non economic activities taking one one point so first of all we'll talk about the objective okay the objective so what is the main objective of economic activities obviously to earn money or wealth economic activities are performed to earn money or wealth and what is the objective of non economic activities they are performed for pleasure love and affection they do not have money aspect in them right so in icsc whenever you are writing the difference between you have to write this basis of differentiation as well don't just make two columns you have to make three columns so these are called basis of differentiation or simply basis okay or sometimes it is also we can write it in short bod basis of differentiation so these points have to be there the first was the objective now next next basis of differentiation is types so what are the types of economic activities production consumption distribution and exchange we have just now done the four non economic activities social political religious charitable parental and recreational so you have revised very nice the third purpose what is the purpose of economic activities so we have already done in economic activities what is the main purpose do you remember to satisfy a material need to satisfy human wants wants is what material need only so to satisfy human wants that is the main purpose of economic activities non economic activities to get mental or psychological satisfaction okay to get mental or psychological satisfaction 
Now, what is the scope of economic activities? Economic activities takes place either between employer or the employee, right? So, this is the scope. Employer or employee ke beech mein hai. Ya fir between supplier and consumer or between the professional and a client. For example, the doctor and his client, the lawyer and his client. So, these are the three points that you should remember. Between employer and employee, between consumer uh, between supplier and consumer and between professional and client now non economic activities they generally takes place between family members or between social workers and those who are being served by them to pehla to hai family members and second is between social workers and those who they are serving right so if if they are going to orphanage then they are serving the orphans when they are going to old age home they are serving the old people right who are homeless so either it is the relation it is between family members for example going to birthday parties attending marriages and things like that or between social workers and those that are being served by them so that was all about chapter one we have finished chapter one of economics for icsc class 9 and 10 and we have done this chapter in three parts Right, so if you have not watched the earlier parts, I will give you the link here in the i button and in the end. So go ahead and watch all the three parts to complete chapter one of economics for ICSC class 9 and 10 in detail. If you have liked today's video, do give it a thumbs up, do write in the comment section below, and please share it with your friends and keep the learning always on on Zenith Academy online.